Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays P2518? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does P2518 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number 0. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Chevrolet vehicles. Also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two bits again determine the second character. The last bit styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code P2518 interpret specifically Chevrolet car manufacturers? The basic definition is Steering wheel angle sensor encoder ring defective. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. BCM detects steering angle sensor internal abnormality signal jump. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. Improper installation or positioning of the steering angle sensor steering wheel is off center open circuit in wiring harness between BCM terminal 3 volts and steering angle sensor terminal F open circuit or short to power supply in wiring harness between BCM terminal 3W and steering angle sensor terminal or open circuit or short to power supply in wiring harness between BCM terminal 3S and steering angle sensor terminal C open circuit or short to power supply in wiring harness between BCM terminal 3T and steering angle sensor terminal E open circuit or short to power supply in wiring harness between BCM terminal 3X and steering angle sensor terminal D open circuit in wiring harness between BCM terminal 3N and steering angle sensor terminal B short to GND in wiring harness between BCM terminal 3 volts and steering angle sensor terminal F short to GND in wiring harness between BCM terminal 3W and steering angle sensor terminal A short to GND in wiring harness between BCM terminal 3S and steering angle sensor terminal C short to GND in wiring harness between BCM terminal 3T and steering angle sensor terminal E short to GND in wiring Wiring harness between BCM terminal 3X and steering angle sensor terminal D steering angle sensor signal circuit short each other steering angle sensor malfunction BCM malfunction. 
The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.